go not where the path may lead, but go where there is no path and leave a trail. And I believe that. I believe that wholeheartedly. The STEM Success Summit is an amazing event where we bring together diverse people from all walks of life, ages 18 to 35, that aspire to succeed in STEM. And we show them how to do it. We provide them with access to peers and mentors in the STEM landscape, and we empower them with educational workshops, and we give them this community that stays with them throughout the course of the year. And we're talking things such as personal branding, how to be successful in areas of research, uh, entrepreneurship, we even go technical in certain areas of, of subject matter expertise. We basically just give game. All right, we're about to go to the airport and pick up the rest of the team. Naomi and I, we're gonna we're pick excited. up Justin Maynard and- uh, Corey. Corey and Donovan. Donovan. All right. The rest of the Sam Avengers, let's yes, go. Yes, link up. We all felt like we didn't have a community. I remember growing up on the South Side of Chicago being that little nerdy black kid that always liked science and space and not really being able to talk to anyone about it. We know that STEM is, is not the easiest of career paths. And a lot of times people, particularly people who are underrepresented in the space, you know, black, indigenous, people, people of color, began to not have this sense of belonging. I think we all just wanted to be around like-minded people that were thinking the same way we did, that were inspired by the same things that we are. That goes a long way in helping someone simply stay with it. We know that we're just missing out on the intelligence and the brilliance of many black people in other communities of color. And so we want to add to that conversation, add to that impact and make a difference when it comes to increasing representation and broadening participation, if you will, in these disciplines. Hey, y'all got y'all there? Okay, cool. We're on the way. Um, do y'all gotta get checked baggage or no? There's a quote that says, Go not where the path may lead, but go where there is no path and leave a trail. And I believe that. I believe that wholeheartedly. And that really sums up, you know, a lot of things that mean a lot to me and that I value. So we're not just leaving a trail here in Raleigh. We're about to leave a trail in the STEM fields because this is what STEM success looks like. When we first got there, it was Tuesday, and I think excitement was at an all-time high. We were already well beyond the number of registered attendees that we had in the previous year, so we're like, all right, we're definitely gonna blow our attendance out of the water. Myself and Maynard, we flew from LA, so we actually had to sacrifice the whole day. We got in at night, but we were ready for that dress rehearsal. As soon as we hit the ground, we started setting up the studio space, and we were ready to go. Just want to make sure we get this on video. You know, this is a <laughs> sexy piece of equipment here. Yeah, that's my reaction. That's my reaction. <laughs> I get energized when I'm around this team, when I'm around these individuals, and that's just on a Zoom call. That's just at a meeting. But when people physically come into the, you know, your presence, and we're all in the same house, I feel like we can do anything. And so with everybody there, you know, we're cracking jokes on each other. You know, people are trying to claim their spot in the room. Yeah, I got this room, I got this bed. There is just this family type vibe. And then it's like, hey, let's get to work. Kickoff is the next day. We put the screens behind and then we can have one couch in the center and we can still fan these two out. So this year, we're at our third annual. We've done it three years in a row, and this year we have a team, and we've sort of found our sweet spot. And you know, you get this feeling when you're working with someone where you're like, "Yo, this, this, this is about to be special." I have to say that about Justin, like, because he has so much talent, so much potential. It's kind of like, the, you know, the perfect, perfect partner when it comes to founding the project like this. He is a, an interesting individual for sure. Always high energy, super dynamic. Super intelligent, always brings his A game to everything I've seen him be a part of. My man Donovan in the building. I'm trying. Good to see you, bro. Good to see you too. Donovan is one of those people. He's like the perfect teammate. He's willing to jump in and learn whatever is necessary to help get the job done. We have Ricky Venters. Ricky is a person who 
He's never been someone who's like, you know, look at me. He's not trying to get a lot of attention, but he's just really on board. Naomi Thomas, my homegirl Naomi, she is also super organized, super on point. One of the quietest people on the team. She doesn't always talk a lot, but her actions speak louder. She helped us out with marketing this year, designed some really cool videos for us as well. Brianne Martin was someone that I've, I've been friends with for a while. She's a true people engineer. In fact, that's her brand name, Veronica, the people engineer. And she really is uh, passionate about engineering communities and building communities and empowering people. But I'm telling you, like, this is the place. You see, you see these, do you see these people? You see these people? Hold on, hold on. Amazing people, amazing people. <laughs> hold on now, hold on. <laughs> Dirty shit. Corey is the definition of a STEM rock star. Really, really ingrained in the community and genuine in her relationship. Stephanie, I feel like you talk, you talk about a person that doesn't see how dope they are. Sometimes I think Stephanie, she is the reason that this all works, you know, in terms of getting the graphics together, uh, finessing something last minute behind the scenes, posting the social media stuff consistently and not forgetting. She is always on point. Because we fanned it out here, you can still see behind the couch. She's mastermind at work right here. This guy mastermind. You can see his brain. Maynard, man, the hip hop MD. He joined the team after the first year and he instantly added value. I mean, he also began to bring connections, consultants, and even headline speakers to the summit that uh, took us to the new stratosphere. I can do like a quick welcome and then I'll bring you on. Cause you know how we rotate? Yeah, yeah. All right. And then after that, Ernicia goes up. Right. So that's gonna be her cue, she'll, and, and she's supposed to come on around 11, 11, 15 tomorrow. So we'll, right. and I, t I told her that already. So okay. video plays and she goes on. Can they watch the recordings after? Like, should we tell no. them? We are recording, but that information will come later. Okay. I think we should do, uh, I think we should go over Stephanie, Stephanie right? Kind of about communications. Communication. And we should go with curriculum. Don oh, uh, or Donovan. Donovan. Yeah. 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 Corey, Donovan. Yeah. And Corey, yeah. We looking at the leaderboard. At the leaderboard. Every okay. time you comment or whatever, you get points. Score. I can take the awards voting and you can take the Sim Avenger. Yeah. Or you can encourage them. So we'll link that, right? Can I say that? Yeah, we'll link it. We'll, we'll link, like, we'll, we'll have a link to apply for the scholarship yes. in the chat on Hula. In the chat, and we'll send it out as well. Everybody, after this, as soon as we're done, the people who are already assigned to their moderated rooms are gonna go to their rooms, to right. their webinars, right. and make sure their speakers are good. Are we gonna actually physically go to the bedroom so that way we're- You can go wherever you get. Okay, I just wanna make sure we're spread out enough because right. if Maynard and I both assume we're gonna go to the table, you know, go sit next to each other. Yeah, so I'll be right here. Um, yeah, so if I might go there, so go to the room, whatever, yeah, we're spread out. There are so many people who sometimes are attending the school or in a major where they're like the only person of color or they're the only woman. And so we get DMs, we get phone calls, we get people who come up to us in person and tell us how much they appreciate the event that we're having. Really changing the perception of what STEM looks like, what STEM success looks like. And the goal is to, at the end of the day, have a workforce that reflects the population at large. There's so many sensational careers that are creative that require leadership skills, interpersonal skills, and we're showing how the STEM community can be an amalgamation of all of those things. Hey, listen, this is about to be probably the best STEM event of the year. No disrespect to my friends over here. Right? One of, one of the best. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's gonna be the best. Yeah. It's gonna be the best. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, just do it. Like, I gotta check the swag. The swag. The, 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 the drip. Oh, okay,